having a mixed conception at fertility plus and at fertility courses. So today I'm presenting a new paper, which is what is the relationship between follicle size and a blastocyst formation? So in short, in IVF, what is the ideal size of the follicle? So this was an excellent paper, which came out from one of the best research centers, probably which have published a huge number of, of studies and it's in press and is the effect of ovarian follicle size on oocyte and embryology outcomes. So let's have a look at this protocol. Ovulation trigger when lead follicle was 17 to 18 millimeter. Follicles less than 10 millimeter to more than 28 millimeter. And that is what we normally see. And the, there is evidence about follicle size and oocyte quality, maturity, and at least cleavage embryo quality. And But we ha don't have much data into what happens with blastocyst culture. So this is a prospective cohort observational study, 157 oocyte retrievals. The diameter of each follicle measured and was group cultured, and blastocyst stage were checked and there were eight groups. If you look at the groups, there were uh, follicles less than 9.5 millimeter, 10 to 12 millimeter follicles, 13.15.5 millimeter, 16 to 18.5 millimeter, 19 to 21 millimeter, 22 to 24, and it goes on and on. So what does this study look, tell us? That fewer metaphase two oocytes were observed in follicles less than 12.5 millimeter. And the best rate of getting mature oocytes were between 19 and 21.5 millimeter. Also, follicles that cross 13.5 millimeter gave a reasonable at a 0.5 rate of getting oocytes. And the ability to of metaphase 2 oocytes to be fertilized did not differ significantly on the, the size of the follicles. Once you got the metaphase 2 oocytes. And good blastocyst per 2pn oocyte increased with increasing you know, diameter of the follicles. And it seems that the increase in diameter of the follicle also had an impact on the development potential. So when you have a look at this, uh, you know, uh, study if you know, see that probably the best rate of getting oocytes and blastocysts seems to be between 19 and 21. But look at this too. If your follicle size increase, you did not see a substantial drop in metaphase 2 oocytes and also you did not see a substantial drop in the blastocyst conversion. Also in smaller follicles, as long as you got for uh, metaphase 2 oocytes, you got to blastocyst culture. So, and it's quite, quite a good study. It gives us an insight into what we do every day, and that's why it is important. And at the end, you're going to see variables at this, and uh, and you'll be, not be, uh, you know, aspirating some small follicles, or you may be worried about large follicles. If you again looked at the small size follicles, if you had follicles less than 12.5, millimeter then it's unlikely to create good quality blastocyst and the quality of blastocyst increased with till it got to a 19 millimeter and then beyond 19 millimeter it did not show a substantial decline and even when follicles started growing larger especially but remember in older women as women cross 35 it seems that larger follicles may start either collapsing, that's my experience, or you start seeing them being compromised. And, and that may be one of the cases where you decide to collect, uh, uh, you know, oocytes when they're between 18 and 20 millimeter. Now, what does this study tell us? It tells us that punctures of follicles of 19 or more did better than 18 millimeter. The highest rates of good blastocysts were for follicles between 19 and 24.5 millimeter and there was no substantial decrease in oocyte or blastocyst quality after 25 millimeter. It is futile trying to aspirate follicles of less than 9.5 and we think that there may be an existence of a plateau 
after which follicle size increase does not impact quality, which means that once you start crossing 18, 19, 20, you know, waiting longer does not seem to compromise on quality by saying that, you know, some eggs will get post mature and that doesn't seem to make, make sense. Again, the BMI less than 25, more than 25 did not have an impact. And in younger women, blastocyst quality was much better. Also, when they looked at euploidy, they found that there was no difference if the blastocyst was formed between euploidy from small follicles and from larger follicles. And that's something which is quite reassuring. And again, it doesn't tell us much. So the next time, uh, unless you're planning a dual stimulation, and remember, many of us, there's a fascination with dual stimulation, but it's incredibly difficult to do dual stimulation, especially because you will not see so many small follicles. And in those cases, I'll say, go and aspirate. So in summary, what does this study tell us? And this study tells us quite a number of things. One, it tells us that small follicles at 13 and 14 millimeter may give a good number of metaphase 2 sites. It also tells us that larger follicles, once they cross 19 millimeter, may continue to give good quality oocytes and blastocysts. So in cases where you see follicles at 13, 14, 15 millimeter, another cohort of follicles at 18, 19 millimeter, waiting for a day or two may help you to try and get more oocytes and maybe more blastocysts. And that's something which this study may convey to us. So again, a brilliant paper, you know, something which helps us to decide on day-to-day, -day, uh, you know, working. And I think it's something which will get us thinking when we start doing um, our collections or rather during our stimulation. So thank you very much.